Greetings, everybody. Glad to welcome you aboard tonight. The third meeting this year between the Heat and the Bullets. The season series even in one. Heat lost in Baltimore in November. One here back on the 17th of January. And let's meet the starting lineups first for the visitors out of Landover, Maryland. Tonight's starting lineup for the Bullets at forward number five, six nine from Michigan. Number 40, six foot seven from Indiana, Calvert Cheney. And guard number 20, six one from Oklahoma, Brent Price. And guard number 21, six foot five from New Orleans, Liddell Eccles. And at center number 77, seven foot seven from Kluge University, George Mirasa. The head coach of the Bullets is Jim Lynham. The assistant coach is Bob Stack, Derek Smith, Buzz Brayman. The trainer is Kevin Johnson. Up as a record of 10 and 5 for head coach Pat Riley, who worked his team hard yesterday in practice but gave them this morning off. Matter of fact, the Heat had their pregame walkthrough instead of this morning at 11, this afternoon at 5 30. A coach that knows when to put the hammer down and when to lift it up. And the night's starting lineups are brought to you by Southwest Airlines. Jack, we've talked a lot about the second year All Star Juwan Howard, but Miami's rookie power forward, Kurt Thomas, an emerging defensive player. That should be a fun match up to chart. Well, it will be, Eric. And uh, Howard, usually at the small forward position, but because of the injuries, Calvert Cheney moving up to the small forward, and Howard becoming the big forward and drawing the assignment with Kurt Thomas. Good matchup for both guys, but especially challenging for Kurt Thomas. The season series even at one the all time series led by the heat 20 to 13 Miami has won 13 of 17 here and they will play in Landover against the bullets Monday night April the 8th. There's our officiating crew Ronnie Nunn Ted Bernhardt and Woody Mayfield and we are set for a Friday night of NBA hoops here in Miami and don't forget tomorrow night. The Heat and the Detroit Pistons 730 start from the Palace of Auburn Hills. We'll have that one for you on UPN 33. Each of these games are going to be a monster for the Heat and they just have to take them in stride get ready to play their best game every time out from now till the playoffs begin. Look at the size of Murison. He is a monster guy. And he has had two monster games against Miami. Matter of fact, he's averaging 19 points and 18 rebounds against the Heat this year. Well, they're sitting together. Juwan Howard's miss, taken down by the Wizard, Walt Williams. Brent Price matching up against Tim Hardaway. Now, Hardaway can post him up, Eric. Good luck by Hardaway inside. 
Eight to shoot. Williams on the fadeaway. Nice. Right on the money for the Wizard, who struggled against the Lakers the other night. Made just three out of 12 from the field. Well, help Walt to get his game together early on. He has a size advantage over Cheney that Pat Riley would like to take advantage of. As Mirasan made the turn, Alonzo Mourning called for his first foul. Funny, a former Heat player in Lee Dale Eccles against a former Bullet in Rex Chapman. <laughs> well, in the NBA, you get all kinds of crazy <laughs> relationships, Eric. That's only one of many. Here's Top Gun. You remember him well oh, yeah. from a year ago. Kirk Thomas pulling down the rebound. The Bullets have missed their first two shots. Murison getting back to deflect Hardaway's look ahead pass out of bounds. Just in the nick of time. That ball was almost past Big George. Alonzo had a step advantage on him going to the basket. Big George Murison has made steady progression. This is his third year in the NBA, and uh, his numbers keep getting better. Rex unloads. His three pointer bounces off to young Brent Price. He too is a third year man. Sat out all of last year with a knee injury to his left knee. And Walt Williams called for the Heat's second foul here in the first quarter. Well, Brent Price will keep probing the defense. Doesn't have blinding speed, but good quickness. Taking advantage of any crack in the defense to penetrate or any sag to knock down a distance shot. And like his brother, very good off the pick and roll. Albert Cheney on the crossover and a three second violation against George Murison. We've talked about the long distance shooters for the Bullets. Mark, uh, excuse me, Brent Price and Tim Legler have combined to make 216 threes on 48%. So beware of them. Indeed, Eric. All right, one on one. So and the big fella. One on one. Nice. Little hook. Nice work by Zoe. Soft touch, his first score, and Miami off to a 4 nothing start. And Big George worked with him, moved his feet well. Zoe dug that shoulder into him, got enough shooting space to throw in a jump hook. First morning at a big game against the Bullets here with 38 points, 15 rebounds, and four blocks. Howard over Thomas, excellent defense. Excellent, is right. Burke didn't go for any of the pumps or jumps. Oh, what a pass. Oh, boy. What a fall, boy. Tim Hardaway handling the break so well, and Morning running the floor like a sprinter, and Jim Lynham wants 20 seconds to talk it over. Now they'll need at least that much. Miami off to a 6 nothing start. The Heat have made three of their first four. The Bullets are 0 for 3. Look at Zoe. Takes Murison out. Giving him shooting space out there, trying to contain him in the lane, but so got just enough space by banging with that shoulder a little bit. And then in transition, Hardaway with a great pass, so with a strong finish. Uh, the quick hits of Tim Hardaway, Jack. Last two games, Tim Hardaway has racked up 26 assists, just three turnovers. Well, that's, uh, of course, excellent ratio between assists and turnovers look at those numbers 19 13 and, zip. and zippo on the turnovers where's timmy hardaway working on five consecutive double doubles looks five games averaging 18 points and 13 assists great help by rex chapman on that one Here comes howard he lost the ball and kirk thomas brings it down hardaway nice again Nice finish, and the Heat have scored the first eight points. Zoe had six of them. I'm sure Jim Lynham talked to the big guy, George Murison, about transition defense. He just got beaten again. Pick and roll for Brent Price. He turns the corner, and it's stolen by Tim Hardaway, but a foul. And it's illegal defense, says Woody Mayfield. Miami's first warning. Here comes Hardaway again, and there's Zoe. Hit that one off the glass to get it over Big George. But Morning getting track room space ahead of Big George Murison in transition. Sweet stuff. Miami's running game effective here in the opening three minutes. Eight to nothing, your score favoring the Heat. Come on, That's terrific by Kirk Thomas. A little work defensively. Got some help and a oh, traveling violation. And Jack, so far, Thomas's defense has been the dominating factor in this early moments, first three minutes. Well, it's been strong against the guy that uh, Jim Lynham would hope would be his star shooter, Juwan Howard. 
Thomas doing an excellent job of foot movement and hand position against the shooter. Juan Howard 0 for 3 with a turnover. So quick move. Murison cuts him off. So gets it back. Tries again. Got bumped on that one. And Walt Williams comes away with it. So the Heat have another chance to go up by as many as 10. So lost control but was fouled. All right. I like all of this, Eric. Alonzo Mourning not being content with the perimeter jumper, putting it on the floor, using a variety of fakes. Watch this one. Goes baseline, no. Tries to whirl to the basket, no. So he scoops it underneath and gets the body contact. And back to the free throw line where he struggled mightily against the Lakers, missed 10 of his 13. And uh, it's got to be as much mental as it is mechanical with Alonzo at the stripe right now. Well that's a better looking shot Eric. right there. That's a better. <laughs> and you know look it's up. the satisfaction and the response by the fans but that's an entirely different shot than he was shooting the other night. This one has rotation on the ball. He's finishing higher. Look at that. Beautiful. Nothing but next. And Alonzo Morning has scored eight of the Heat's first ten and we got a shutout brewing here in Miami. Eight and a half minutes to go on the first. Oh, Brent Price on the pull up. Oh boy. Brent Price using that little forearm shiver to give himself shooting space. Oh, oh boy. This. Hardaway. Tim Hardaway can beat Price off the dribble. Not so much with speed, but with his crossover dribble and maneuverability. He drew Murison away from the basket and dished another assist to big man Alonzo Morning. Joe has 10, Hardaway with three assists, and the Heat lead at 12 2. Thomas over to help out on Eccles. Howard tees it up and buries his first jumper. Juwan Howard averaging 21 points a game. The Heat very alive in this game so far. Pick. Emma Thomas has the step and finishes. Now the Heat playing very well here in the early moments. Again, they are up by 10. This is excellent execution by the Heat at both ends of the floor. Hello. Howard looks in for Murison. He gets a great look. Morning pulls down his third rebound. Heat have out rebounded the bullets seven to one so far. Hardaway for Thomas. Book it. Oh, no, popped out. A pardon there. Harrison with a rebound. And Price defended well. Edel Eccles making his 15th start. They signed him on the 11th of December. He was sitting out. Walt Williams off and running. Rex, quick release. Off the hands of Howard, out of bounds, stays with the Heat. And we get our first timeout to Miami with 6.44 left in the first. All Heat so far. The Miami Heat on Sunshine Network is brought to you by your local Florida Jeep and Eagle dealers. By Norwegian Cruise Line, the official cruise line of the Miami Heat. The cruise on the leeward sails August 96 with Heat players. By your local Chevrolet Geo dealers. If you haven't driven a Chevrolet today, you haven't driven today's Chevrolet. And by the Discovery Channel. Explore your world. And welcome back inside the Heat's house. This power dunk of the game brought to you by Briggs and Stratton. Penetration by Hardaway. A strong finish by Morning on the power dunk. It's actually brought to you by Hardaway and Morning along with Briggs and Stratton. And Tim Hardaway setting the table very well since coming over in that trade. Already with three assists tonight. Brent Price picking up his first foul. Alonzo Morning off to a very nice start. He has outscored George Murison 10 to nothing so far. And the Heat out rebounding the Bullets 8 to 2 at this juncture. Well, Miami off to a 14 to 4 lead. Six and a half left. First quarter. Hardaway's line drive triple. Thomas on the putback. Keep it alive, Kurt Thomas with a short flipper to get the score. Four points for Thomas. Miami up 12, their biggest lead of the game. And the Heat off to a very nice start. You see both ends of the floor. The double comes on Big George, and he is fouled. Walt Williams doubling down, drew the foul, and that is the second foul of this first quarter on the Wizard. 
take a look at it. Ball goes inside to Murison. Pat Riley isn't strong on double teaming this team, but Walt Williams came down to bother Murison and drew the foul. Well, that is a landmark miss. The Bullets had made 31 consecutive free throws in their last two games. They were 19 for 19 on the line to Indiana Wednesday night. The game before that, they went 12 for 12 at Cleveland. Now, this is a good shooting team, Eric, from the field, inside, and from the free throw line. Bullets in a trap. Man. Rex takes out big George, who sends him back. Brett Price for Liddell Eccles and right back. And one pass defense. too many for the Bullets as the Heat hustled back. Miami knocks it out. Tyrone Corbin into the game. Terrific for Walt defense, Williams. Uh, Eric, by uh, Kirk Thomas, who was the stopper of that transition. Fast break effort. Under six minutes left, first quarter. One on one for Jawan Howard. Thomas again, right with him. Morning with a great screen out of Murison. Alonzo now with four rebounds. Right at you. And foul by Brent Price. The second foul on Washington's point guard. Tim Hardaway upset when he didn't shoot the ball after the whistle blew. Well, Tim Hardaway is having his way with the ball against Brent Price and that will get Brent a seat on the bench and this little guy Chris Whitney will challenge Hardaway a little stronger on the dribble but he's smaller than Price and Hardaway can post him. Chris Whitney out of Clemson he spent his first two years in the league with the San Antonio Spurs he's in the CBA up in West Palm Beach this year playing for the Florida Beach Dogs. Kurt Thomas with a loose ball foul, his first of the night. Well, news from the front office brought to you tonight by Office Depot. Franchise record for Heat wins in a single season is 42. The Heat could equal that if they go 7 and 6 in their last 13 games. Well, that's a good objective. But the better one is to make the playoffs, guys. Whatever it takes. Miguel, back again. Tough down at the low post. Triple team. And Rex Chapman with a rebound with Bullets. So fouled by Lonzo Morning. Get the bucket anyway. Lonzo Morning loves it. <laughs> but that was a great look by Rex Chapman off the rebound. Rex, Tim Hardaway in particular, always looking up. Watch Chapman. Eyes up, throws long, morning again beating the defense down the floor, and he shrugs off Chris Whitney's effort like it doesn't even exist. Take a harder foul than that. And Alonzo Morning has made his first three foul shots, and he has 13 points, and the Heat lead it 19 to 5. Morning spent some time with Tim Hardaway at the free throw line. Hardaway great with his release. Oh, nice defense by Tyrone Corbin sliding down in that help mode to knock it away. Heat doing such a good job, Eric. Defense is strong, rebounding, consistent, and the transition game near perfection. Bullets have missed eight of their ten shots so far. Echols curls in and rolls it home. Lee Dell averaging seven and a half points again. Gets his first pair. Here they come. Great body control. Oh, he's nice hand off, oh, but this one sails out of bounds. Last touched by the Bullets. 4:28 left first quarter. Miami in front by 12. 19 to 7. Hardaway coming through the lane with almost at almost breakaway speed. Somehow managed to control his dribble and save that ball from going out of bounds. Rex for three. The rebound taken down by Juwan Howard is first of the night. He averages nearly eight points a game. Eccles by Chapman, and let's see which way it goes. Ronnie now at first looked to be indicating an offensive foul, but no, it's on Rex Chapman, his first of the game, and Miami now over the limit. Rex thought that Woody Mayfield, the outside official, called Liddell for hooking, which he did. Ronnie Nunn, the inside official, and in the rank of uh, officials on the floor, the lead official in this game, uh, his call took preference 
merely because Woody Mayfield didn't pursue his call. Dell has now made his last 16 foul shots, and tonight has four points for Washington. Given the Bulls showing track, they forced 17 turnovers a game. One of the best ones Another nice league. pass. Another nice pass. Oh boy. Second try for Zoe. Right there. Excellent. Excellent. Boy, is Zoe active tonight. What a first quarter. 15 points for Alonzo on six for nine shooting. He's leading it 21 to 9. Under four minutes left here in the first quarter. It's been impressive for Miami. And that's a block on Kurt Thomas. Trying to defend on that pick and roll. He picks up his second foul. Yeah, Kurt Thomas stepped out a little too aggressively on that one. That's a good call. For the most part, though, Doc, you've got to love the rookie's defense. Uh, he's priding himself on filling the role Pat Riley has prescribed for him, defending and rebounding and getting his points when they present themselves. He's defending a little differently tonight, Eric, not putting an arm on the man he's defending, giving him just a little space so he has a better chance of moving with someone as quick as Howard off the dribble. He'll be reigning NBA Player of the Week, Chris Gatling of Miami on for Kurt Thomas, who leaves with four points, four boards, and two fouls. So far in this game, the starting front court of the Heat, outscoring their counterparts on the Bullets, 21 to three. Ten-point lead for Miami. 3.40 left first quarter. Rex Chapman open, but short. And this is Chris Whitney with it, hitting ahead for Eccles. Miguel originally a second-round pick of the Bullets in his first four years in Washington. Played last year with the Heat. Howard bottled up. Whitney for three. And Gatling pursues his first rebound tonight. Good defense again by Gatling against Howard. Great look. And knocked out of bounds. Jim McIlvain into the game, replacing George Murison. McIlvain, the second year center from Marquette, goes 7 1. Doesn't give you much in the way of points or rebounds, but his coach, Jim Lynham, says this guy, an excellent shot blocker. He is, Eric. He can, uh, he has great time. He has a long wingspan, too, that helps him. Hardaway. It's been off with his shooting. Oh, 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 oh. With a one hand stuffer. And one would think he played like a man possessed after the disappointing loss to Los Angeles. So has been a one man wrecking crew. Jim Lanham wants to talk about it. Alonzo has 17 points, and the Heat up a dozen. Heat by 12, and this is how it happens. This is Liddell Eccles with the ball here. And this is Jawan Howard, who would like to get position. This is his counterpart, Chris Gatling, going to try and keep him out. But look, freeze it there. Howard gets it in the paint. But Gatling is going to force him out of there and make him take a difficult shot. Back to live action. Lee Dell Eccles just tossing in a triple from the left wing. Hardaway all the way to the bucket. Morning. Oh, to the rebound. He took a hard foul from Jim McIlvain. Uh, Jack Ramsey, Alonzo Morning, playing like a man possessed and playing like the all star he is. 17 points, six rebounds, and we still have two and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. He's getting a lot of these opportunities from Hardaway's penetrations. And on that last one, even though Hardaway shot the ball, McIlvain had come to block the shot, and that left Zoe open at the basket for the rebound and the attempted score. Jack, one could have guessed, knowing the temperament and competitiveness of this guy, that he'd come back with a vengeance tonight. Eric, after that game the other night, I mentioned this on our post-game report, Zoe was the last guy out of the locker room. When I went in there much later, he was still in the weight room, pushing iron and doing stretches with Bill Ferran, and then went in and iced both his legs into the ice whirlpool. And he's got 19 points tonight, and he's made all five of his free throws so far. Legler driving on Askins, and Tim Legler draws a foul. Tim Legler, a guy you root for, forget what jersey he wears because he's worn a bunch. This is the sixth different team. 29-year-old Tim Legler has played for out of LaSalle six years in the CBA, and he's finally found an NBA home in Washington. Uh, Jim Lynham really likes this kid, Eric. Uh, 
we see him Jim Lynham and I see Legler in summer basketball at the Jersey Shore and you can't help but marvel at this guy who plays just about every Sunday in a pickup game that involves some fringe NBA players a lot of local guys and he just works on his game and this shooting part of it is no accident this guy has become a world class shooter well, he's made 20 straight free throws and he was the winner in the at and shootout on all star weekend there's the post up Whitney <laughs> defending Hardaway he got a face full of Hardaway's elbow and he also gets called for the foul. So Chris Whitney's second bullets are over the limit Hardaway will shoot a pair with two minutes and three seconds left in the first quarter that Miami has had their way in eat up nine watch the release of Tim Hardaway from the free throw line and this is what he and Alonzo Mourning worked on yesterday on getting that nice rotation see how high Hardaway finishes and the nice rotation he gets with the ball. And in tonight's game, Alonzo Mourning has borrowed a few of those techniques. Here we get one of two. McElvain outfights Gatling for the rebound. So the Heat lead is 10 with just under two left in this first period. Whitney looking in for Juwan Howard. Gatling there. And Howard misses another. Morning with his seventh rebound. Jawan Howard now one for seven. Hardaway for the runner, and McElvain brings it down. Hardaway knocks it out of bounds. Funny, Tim Hardaway has set the table very well tonight, but he's missed his first five shots, and over the last five games, he's shooting about 32 percent on 20 of 65. So for the moment, his touch has left him. This guy's touch almost never leaves America. That's Tim Legler. 50% from the field, 85% from the line, and he is a 50% three-point shooter, second best in the NBA to Steve Kerr of the Bulls. So the Heat by eight, they have led by as much as 14 in this first quarter. Great pass by oh, Chris Gatling Askin. from Askins. They like the way Gatling hung and changed the shot to score it. First bucket for Gatling, and now he picks up his first foul. We can see a replay of that. Uh, Juwan, watch Juwan Howard elbow Gatling right out of it. And Gatling somehow got called for the foul, which he doesn't quite understand. <laughs> Juwan Howard, number 16 in the league in scoring this year. He's worked hard to get every shooting opportunity. The one he missed in the previous possession was the best look he's had at the basket tonight. Tell you what, bullets hanging around because of their free throw shooting. They are nine for ten and down by eight. Morning at McElvain. What a first quarter. A record-setting first quarter for Alonzo Morning. He has 21 points on eight of 11 shooting. And the Heat are just shredding that trapping defense of the Bullets. This is the highest scoring quarter for any Heat player in franchise history. Eccles has it blocked by Zoe. The Alonzo Morning posting franchise record setting numbers here in the first period with 21 points. 21 points and seven rebounds so far in this game, Eric. Five for five from the free throw line. Those are numbers that a lot of players would like to have for the game. <laughs> the previous heat record for points in a quarter held by Glenn Rice is 19. Juan Howard off the dribble right at Zoe. It rolls off. And it's Tyrone Corbin that clears it. Tony Smith in for Hardaway. The heat leading by 10 looking for the last shot of the first quarter. Gatlin mismatch on Legler who fouls it. <laughs> uh, Chris Gatling. Once he gets in position, very, very hard for a forward to defend or a center. But in this case, Legler has no shot. <laughs> but he's not going to give him a field goal either, is Tim Legler. Chris Gatling on the year, 67% at the free throw line, but he has made 20 of his last 21. Oops. He has shot the ball so much better 
during this stretch from the free throw line are a great rotation of the shot. That last one missed. And so does that one. That oh my, doesn't even hit way off the mark. Mm. Chris Gatling though comes in tonight second best in the league in field goal percentage trailing only Washington's George Murison Gatling shooting 57 percent from the field and Murison slightly ahead at 58 percent. Let's see what the bullets go for Jim Lennon usually likes a high screen roll and that's what they're set up to do. Whitley finds Howard who fires and connects Juwan Howard now with six and Miami's lead is eight. He'd have time if they hurry. But everything else worked out well for Alonzo Mourning. He scores 21 of Miami's 30 points. And by himself, he's nearly outdone the Bullets. Heat by eight at the end of one. Let's watch the Heat attack this trapping defense. That's Tim Hardaway. He's going to pass up court to Keith Askins. Askins gets the ball at the side court, frees it there. Askins here, Alonzo Morning right in the paint. Askins gives it to Morning. Morning takes it to the well. That's McElvain trying for the shot block. Doesn't get it. And when that man turns around, you will recognize him as Rocky Balboa, alias Sylvester Stallone. He's enjoyed the performance by Miami and Alonzo Morning so far. Nice to see Sly in the Heat's house tonight. One of the honored guests. Alonzo Morning, 21 points, seven rebounds in the first quarter. Highest scoring individual quarter for Heat player in franchise history. And we open the second quarter with a heat up eight. George Murison back in the game for Washington. Tony Smith, Tyrone Corbin, Keith Askins, Chris Gatling, and Zoe start the quarter for the Heat. And Zoe bumped as he came across the lane. And the foul is on Chris Whitney. He just dominating the backboards, Eric. We said that was a key and that the Bullets are not a strong rebounding team. Actually, fifth. Weakest in the NBA total rebound percentage. The Heat 17 to 8 advantage in that first, in this first segment of the game. Six zip on offensive rebounds. Eight zip on second chance points. Alonzo now six of six at the line. Well, the Heat and Capital Bank are working together to offer two $4,000 scholarships to high school seniors who plan to attend a four year university. For further information, call 305 577 Heat. Alonzo has 22 points. Chris Whitney, by the way, leaves the game with his third personal foul. Brent Price is back, and Zoe is perfect at the line tonight. So Alonzo 23, Washington 22. Brent Price bumped from behind, a good no call. Howard with a shot clock at four. Cheney gets it off in time. Wow. So the Bullets <laughs> dodge a near turnover. First bucket for Calvert Cheney, who averages 15 points a game. Talk about dodging the bullet. All the bullets were dodging, huh? <laughs> yeah, they'll only be the Bullets for a couple of more years, and then they'll change their name to the Washington Wizards. So steps back. Keith Askins. Oh, Keith Askins with a left hand tipper. His first score puts Miami in front by 10. Howard spins away from Corbin oh, and hits nice another. That's a nice one. Very dangerous mid range offensive player. Yeah, and great body control, great use of the footwork necessary to have a spin dribble move. And he works hard at the defense, man. Watch him against Gatling. Juan has eight points, and he comes up with a foul. Trying to defend Chris Gatling. The first foul on Juwan Howard, the second on the Bullets. Let's take a look at Zoe getting the ball against Big George. George backing off, saying, in effect, Zoe, shoot the jumper. And he does. Askins with the tip. Rex Chapman back in. Tyrone Corbin sits. Nice lob by Rex. Gatling has it rejected by George Murison. He didn't jump an inch. <laughs> For a quarter of their 
George, ninth in the league in block shots, averages over two a game. Terrific defense by Gatling. Brent Price from distance over the top. Well, the three point shooting hasn't been there for either side tonight. Miami 0 for 5, the Bullets 1 for 4. Bullets hanging around in this game. They've been decisively outplayed at both ends of the floor. Still only trail by eight. Heat scored the first 10 points in this game. Rex hasn't found the range just yet. Matter of fact, Chapman has missed all six of his shots. Albert Cheney flips up an air ball, and that abounds off the bullets. It's been a roller coaster year for Cheney, the third year man from Indiana, has had some injury problems and some consistency problems. Now Cheney thought he got fouled on that last one, Eric, and I think he was right. Nine and a half minutes to go in this first half. Heat leading by eight. Gatling turns, drives, and comes up short. George Murison's fifth rebound. Cheney, the left-hander. Albert Cheney, two in a row here in the second quarter. But he has scored four, and the Bullets are within six. They keep running at you, Eric. Don't give this team a lot of open shots, because they'll knock them down on you. Quick move by his own. He got fouled. And they'll call it a jump ball. Pat oh, Riley and foul. Alonzo Mourning, neither pleased with the call. But it's really Gonzo's way much of the night. He's outscored Murison 23 to 1 so far. Keith Askins sits down. Walt Williams comes back. Askins leaves with two points, a couple of assists. Tony Smith also sitting down. And Pat Tim Hardaway back into the game. Pat Riley gesturing to Ted Bernhardt on that non call to Mourning, but. Uh, Bernhardt saw it differently. The heat backward, Hardaway and Chapman combined 0 for 11 shooting. Tim Hardaway is 0 for 5. Rex Chapman is 0 for 6. Foul on the play on Juwan Howard, his second, and the third on the Bulls. Danny Shea is coming on. He'll sit Alonzo Morning down. So he sits with 23 and seven boards. And for Danny Shays, he is now just four games shy of 1,000 for his career. A lot of games for a guy coming out of Syracuse that many didn't predict uh, an extended NBA career. And uh, he is in his 15th season and quite proud of his alma mater, who are in the final four. Ooh, tough one for Danny Shays. Oh, oh. Sequoia just went down. A giant redwood. Murison getting back and jogging into the front court. Bullets are down by just six. 8-18 left second quarter. And a reach-in foul on Chris Gatling. It started off like it was going to be easy when the Heat ran off 10 straight points. But an NBA game runs 48 minutes, not 12. And the trailing team inevitably makes a surge. And we've just seen the Bullets. Put on theirs. Bullets are three and a half games behind the Heat and Hornets for the final playoff spot. In the playoffs, something the Bullets have not been to in a while. Matter of fact, this likely to be their eighth straight year not in the postseason. Shays on the intercept. This is the Wizard behind his back. Walk the Wizard behind the back dribble and the two hand stopper at the hoop. Oaks in Miami enjoying that. They heat up eight. Here's Howard. Gatling took it away from Cheney, then lost it at a bound, so the Bullets will keep it. 7.48 left in what has been an entertaining first half. Bullets, a very, very active and dangerous team. Nicholas Smith. This is Calvert Cheney. Fresh shot clock. Cheney was fouled as he went up. Tim Hardaway trying to claim the foul, but it will go against Walt Williams, and that's his third. Let's and here's your cruise to the hoop tonight, brought to you by Norwegian Cruise Lines. Walt Williams, that pass deflected Shays to Williams, and Walt Williams behind the back and a two-hand stuffer. Made in a Shays. Howard. For two. Jawan Howard after a slow start in double figures with 10 and the bullets hanging in. Tim Hardaway.
Hardaway is now 0 for 6. He and Chapman both 0 for 6. Whoa, what a play, but Howard couldn't finish it. Here comes Williams. Hardaway for three. Bucket. That'll get him going. Tim First Hardaway. triple tonight for Miami. Tim Hardaway, a scorer with a scorer's mentality, and a great assist guy. Miss a few, stay with him. Keep shooting. Miami has scored just nine points here in the second quarter as Big George gets the bucket and the foul. George Murison collecting his first field goal with 6.50 left here in the second quarter. Foul was on Danny Shays. The timeout to Miami with a heat up seven. There's your score in time. Heat lead by seven with 6.50 to go. We are courtside with South Florida resident Sylvester Stallone, who attracts a lot of attention wherever he goes. Sly, let me... Gotta get accuracy into a game here. Well, I tell you, he might... Yeah. He might be able to take you in tennis. How do you, how do you think about the Heat now staying in, in Miami? I think it's fantastic. It really is. I think that uh, I have to give the commissioners uh, kudos for doing a fantastic job and maneuvering to keep them here where they belong. All right, Sabine. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Gentlemen, back to you. Thanks, Dave. Nice to see Sly sitting courtside. And Andre Agassi, the man that was talking with Sly Stallone a couple of rows back. Uh, Andre making it to the finals of Lipton. Congratulations to Mr. Agassi. I said uh, hello to Pete Sampras the other night, Eric. Danny Shays has a pop out. Great hustle. Shays. Yes. Won't count. He walks. You and Sampras have a nice conversation or a simple hello? No, I talk to him about conditioning, Eric. I always like to see what guys in other sports are doing with regard to their conditioning. And he's a worker. He does weights, he does uh, interval running, in addition to a heavy tournament schedule. Now, tennis is a grueling sport, physically and mentally. By the way, Sly Stallone rumored to be interested in uh, maybe someday using this building as a film studio of sorts. Big George on the turn. Missing short, and Shea saves it in. Nice work by Danny. Eater up six, six minutes left in the half. Hardaway. Now Tim's starting to feel it. Nice rotation on that side. So the Heat are up by eight. Transition offense by the Heat. Going great guns tonight. And Jack the Heat with just one turnover all night. That came on the Danny Shays walk a moment ago. Seven to shoot. Cheney over Hardaway. Harrison over the top. No call. Yes, Ronnie Nunn does make the call. Second foul tonight on George Murison. Lee Dell Eccles coming back for the Bullets and Tim Legler to the bench. Heat went 17 and a half minutes without a turnover in this game. That's excellent because the Bullets induce a lot of turnovers. Only uh, one of only five teams to push 17 or more turnovers per game. Nice. Nice setup by Hardaway. The triple rolled around and out for Keith Askins. And Danny Shays put his nose right into it and was called for the foul. Danny picking up his first foul tonight. The 28th game of the year that Danny Shays participates in for Miami. Remember when he first came to the club, moved into a starting role with all the injuries. Never forget the game at Jersey when Shays was called upon for heavy minutes and racked up 17 points and 16 rebounds. Eric, he'll never hurt you on the floor. He gives you a good effort every time he's out there. Oh, that's terrific position. Howard runs it down. The bullet's down eight points. Brent Price pops it into the corner for Cheney. Has an open look. And Kurt Thomas grabs his fifth rebound. Thomas, what a great job he's doing on team defense. Hardaway with a quick triple. Morning with a rebound is eighth. So. Oh, it rolls around. Sticks. <laughs> 25 for Alonzo. And most of it taking the ball right to the hole against Big George. And so far, he's overwhelmed him down there. One point lead. Hardaway took it right away from Brent Price. Hands. Here Watch comes Timmy. All the way for two. Oh, gotta love it, South Florida. You gotta love fast break offense off aggressive defense. The defense has been superb. 
Oh, Hardaway keeping Brent Price from even touching the ball. Bullets call timeout. The Heat defense has a stranglehold on Jim Lynham's group. They are shooting just 37%, and they trail it by a dozen. Miami has scored the last six points. They lead it by a dozen. It's been a sharp first quarter for the Heat. Uh, first half, I should say. Up coming up tonight at halftime, Dave Lamont will discuss arena business with Pauline Winnick, the Heat Executive Vice President for Business Operations, plus a check of the Gatorade scoreboard. Of course, a very busy day in terms of arena talk. It looks like the Heat are going to be staying in Dade County, a beautiful waterfront facility around Base Bayfront Park. Of course, all of that in the future and a lot still to be sorted out. A very confusing situation, but apparently the Heat will be staying in downtown Miami. And there's a look at Lipton finalists, one of the best tennis players in the world, Andre Agassi. Where do those guys hit the ball hard, Eric? Every stroke. And they also have that deft touch around the neck. That's a great game. Oh, it's a terrific game. Great athletes in that game of tennis. And Lipton, a wonderful event here in South Florida, which is going on. This is Brent Price behind his back for Big George, who knocks in the short jumper. Big George has been very quiet, Jack, just five first half points. Well, the Heat have defended him very well, Eric. He's not a guy who can create his own shot. Right away, putting on a show with his ball handling. Here's Thomas, open 10 footer. Haskins flying around, but the rebound to Cheney. He lead it by 10. This is Calvert Cheney, consensus player of the year back at Indiana in his senior season in 93. Haskins hustling to save it in. Keith Haskins, what an asset he is to his team. Alonzo already with 25 points. Juan Howard with a rebound. Howard with three boards. George Marison leading the Bullets with eight rebounds. Alonzo also has eight rebounds. Neither club shooting particularly well. The Heat at 41%, the Bullets at 38%. Howard on the up fake. It rolled off. And Alonzo Mourning with his ninth rebound. The Heat have a chance to build on this double digit lead. And do they ever? Tim Hardaway. Is he good with the ball or what? Here's Brent Price. Morning with his 10th rebound. Morning is play. Oh, the Heat lose it to Brent Price. So walk in the park for two. That was just miscommunication between two players. And Jack Alonzo Morning with his fifth straight double double. And he accomplishes this one in less than a half 25 points, 10 rebounds. A dominating performance so far. Trying to get Rex Chapman going. Rex Chapman doesn't have his shooting touch tonight. Very uncharacteristic of the one-time bullet and Hornet. Rex Chapman 0 for 7. But we've all seen Rex go 0 for something and then come back and knock down a series of critical shots. And Rex has had at least one three-pointer in 30 of his last 31 games. By 10. Top Gun cuts into the lead. Dell Eccles with nine points now. Dell uh, looks trimmer to me, right? He's with the Heat. Under two minutes left in the first half. Out of bounds off Murison. So the Heat will keep it with 14 on the shot clock. George Murison from Romania. It's his third year in the league and his third year in the U.S. of A. And uh, what remarkable strides this guy has made as a person. And as a player, you could make a case for George as one of the league's most improved players, although he did make great strides a year ago, but he continues to better his NBA game. Uh, every year, Eric, this guy, a lot of people laughed at Big George when he came into the NBA. Thought Washington may have made a mistake, but uh, he's paid big dividends. John Nash, general manager of the Bullets, was the guy who latched on to George Murison. Made him their choice. A not second the first round choice. Round. Yeah, not in the first round. A lot of teams would wish they had the same foresight as Nash had. 
By the way, this copyrighted program presented by the authority of the Miami Heat intended solely for the private, non-commercial use of our audience. Any publication, reproduction, or other use of the pictures and descriptions of this game that the express written consent of the Miami Heat and Sunshine Network is prohibited. So, I'm going to take two more. 27 in the first half for Morning. Another Heat by 10. 49-39. Juwan Howard on the pull-up. Kurt Thomas with rebound number six. Thomas averaging eight rebounds a game in his last five. So clear the side and let Hardaway go against Price. His legs into the lane. Look at that flip. But Murison blocks Thomas's shot out of bounds. Tim Hardaway, the numbers don't show how creative he's been tonight. He has just four assists, but it's like he has that ball on a string. Well, he's just uh, run the offense against a team that can't stop him, Eric. Here's so open That's look. Good play. Two more. That's a good play. Direct inbounds pass with Murison playing off. Off morning and Zoe taking advantage for a 12 foot jump up. 29 for Zoe. The Heat leading 51 39 as Askins knocked it out of bounds. The Heat has done a remarkable job on screen and rolls, getting the defender on the screener to step out high, slow down Price, and then recover to the open players. Under a minute left in this first half. What a half it's been for a lot of side 10 on the shot clock. And a two. Askins knocks it away. And that will be a 24 second violation on the Bullets. Defense on display tonight, Doc. The Bullets shooting 38%. And Miami's defense keeps getting better. Keith Askins has been a big contributor to that, Eric. He's everywhere at the defensive end. Challenging the dribbler, helping his teammates, rotating to open shooters, and then getting to the board to either keep it alive or to get the rebound himself. And Price debating Ronnie Nunn on the call. But the foul will go on him, his third of the night. Well, the first half record for points scored in a game for Miami. Matter of fact, the record for any half is 31. Sherman Douglas did it first half at Denver in December of 1990. Glenn Rice, second half against Orlando in April of 92 at 31. Alonzo Mourning has 29 in the first half of tonight's game. So had 22, which was a quarter record after one period. And Jack, the Heat have gotten very little from anybody else other than Morning. He has 29. Tim Hardaway, the only other man in double figures with 11. And after those two, the rest of the team has a total of 12. Well, other than Rex Chapman, not many players have gotten a shot, sir. Most of them coming through Morning, trying to take advantage of his game against the bigger but slower heroes. Miami by 13 with. 30 seconds to go in the second quarter. Tyrone Corbin giving Cheney fits, but Calbert hung in there. Calbert Cheney all six of his points here in the second quarter. The lead is 11 as we wind down in the first half. He's going to hold for one, but Hardaway take it against Price. Askins for three. Yes! Oh, it's good, good. Big hoop for Keith Askins. Just his second three-pointer in his last 10 games could not have come at a better time. Ella Heat playing a very well-rounded first half. Good enough to get a standing ovation from the faithful here in the Heat's house. Alonzo with 29 and the Heat up 14.